Here we are. Here's the practice instrument, the real thing. And once you go up that, there's another one to go up to get to the real instrument. But we are not going to be assaulting the neighbors with my practicing. We're gonna be doing that right here, quietly. I am all bundled up. I don't know if you can see my breath, but it was freezing um, when I first got here. I think it's about 38 degrees now, maybe. So it's warming up, so it's something. One of the things that's kind of unique about this instrument is it's a practice instrument from the 20s. And apparently at the time, they thought people might be having their first instrument of any kind be the carillon which is why this particular instrument has the note names on it. And normally um, I wouldn't be playing in gloves, but it is cold this morning. <laughs> so I'm gonna warm up with this. George Frederick Handel wrote a bunch of pieces called musical clock pieces. This one is from the second set, and it's the first one of that set. Uh, this particular instrument tends to scream a little bit once you get up here on the high G and A and it tends to not want to go on uh, this B over here. But I'll do what I can. Kind of clunked on that last note. Let me try the last arpeggio again. There. This one is newer to me, as in I've only read through it one time before today. And it is the seventh piece from that second set of the musical clock pieces by Handel. <laughs> 